here we have uh, an interesting mushroom. It's called uh, Hebeloma crustiliformi, which is a difficult uh, name to say, but the common name is poison pie, which may give you some indication about its uh, edibility. Uh, so uh, this mushroom is quite variable. It can get quite large in size. Here's a big one uh, that we've found, and I don't know how clear it is to see, but these are growing kind of uh, in amongst the grass here, not particularly easy to see, but there's several of them all growing in amongst here. This is an ectomycorrhizal species, so it's growing in the middle of a paddock. Uh, but uh, over in the distance over there, you can't really see, but there's an oak tree. Uh, and so I suspect it's growing on a root that's, uh, that's coming over from that oak tree. Uh, so that's the nearest ectomycorrhizal host species that we have. Uh, now this, um, I don't know if you can come in and zoom in, here's a young fresh specimen. So they've kind of got this ivory white kind of a cap and underneath um, whitish gills. Uh, but if you catch it just in the right light, you'll see these little tiny droplets uh, that form uh, on the gills. And with age, you'll see an older specimen, the gills kind of go brownish. And indeed, if you look at the stem where the spores have fallen, you can see that it's has a browny, uh, brownish spore colour. Uh, and so those droplets eventually will stain uh, brownish, so you'll get these little brown drops falling all over the gills, which is uh, one of the characteristics of this species. Uh, it's also viscid, so if you give it a little kiss, it'll be uh, sticky on your lips. Uh, now the interesting thing about these, so they're called poison pie, and they believe that most Hebeloma species are poisonous, um, a few years ago we caught, uh, found one of our neighbours was collecting these and eating these and has done so uh, for several years without ill effect. And so it seems that there's probably actually a species complex of these things and possibly some of them are edible, although uh, it's not something that I would try because we don't know whether these particular ones are or not.